Demo 5.9 Process Payment for Sales Order In this demo, we receive and post a payment for a previously created billing document, customer invoice. Use the SAP Easy Access menu to navigate to the transaction that posts customer payments. Alternatively, enter the transaction code F28 in the command field to directly access the transaction. In this demo, we will use the SAP Easy Access menu to navigate to the desired transaction. First, expand the accounting menu by clicking on the arrow next to the menu label. In the accounting menu, expand the financial accounting menu. In the financial accounting menu, expand the accounts receivable menu. In the Accounts Receivable menu, expand the Document Entry menu. In the Document Entry menu, select Transaction F28 Incoming Payments. First, we must select a document date. Click the search icon to the right of the Document Date field to display a calendar. Select an appropriate date and click on the Enter icon. In this demo, we will select August 5, 2010. Next, we must select a bank account to apply the payment credit to. Click on the search icon to the right of the account field to display a list of accounts. Next, click on the Enter icon to execute the search. Select 100000 Bank Account and click the Enter icon. Next, enter the amount of the customer payment in the Amount field. In this demo, we will enter $123,000. We must now select the customer account to apply the payment credit to. Click the Search icon to the right of the Account field to search for a customer. Type star 000 into the customer field to search for customers with customer numbers ending in 000. Click on the Enter icon to execute the search. Select Philly Bikes and click the Enter icon. The basic data are now complete. Click the Process Open Items icon to continue processing the payment. In the Post Payments Process screen, you will notice that the amount assigned and the amount entered are equal. If there is a discount to be applied, enter it in the Cash Discount field. If there are partial payments to record, click on the Partial Payment tab. The Partial Payments tab indicates that the entire payment will be applied to the invoice amount. If there are any residual items, click on the Rest Items tab. The Residual Items tab shows that there are no residual items to record. If there is a withholding tax to record, click on the Withholding Tax tab. The Withholding Tax tab shows that there are no taxes to be withheld. Return to the Standard tab. If all the data are correct, then click the Save icon to post the payment. The system posts the customer payment and displays the number of the corresponding FI document that was created. Note that the system returns to the initial screen for posting payments. Click on the Exit icon to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. Next, we will review the document flow for the initial quotation. Select Transaction VA23 Display. Enter or search for the quotation number and click on the Environment menu. Select Display Document Flow. The system displays the document flow for the quotation. Note that the status of the accounting document is now cleared. To view the key data in the accounting document, highlight the document and click the Overview icon. 
the system displays the key data from the accounting document. Demo 5.9 Process Payment for Sales Order